Hi, George here, and I want to show you how you can use Canva with Photoshop Elements. Now, both programs have their strengths, and used together, you can get some really nice artwork. This is something which I made last year, just a little Halloween party invitation. I did it as a template, and one of the things I like about Canva is that you can give people a link where they can go ahead and download or use the template. That's right up here where it says Share. Right here, you can choose either your own access or anybody with the link. Right there, that's the link. And you can choose what they can do view, comment, or edit. They don't actually edit your template, they edit their own copy of that. So you can set that up and say, I wanted to share this, I could do that. And then copy the link. And I'll go ahead, I'll copy this link and I'll put it in the description in case you wanna see this actual piece. I can also download and a lot of other great stuff in here. It's a real nice when you want to share things as templates or share things as artwork. Canva also comes with a load of templates over here, free templates, tons and tons of stuff. You can come in and Start with one of their templates and then go from there to your own designs. It's real easy to do type as you can see in here on these templates. Now on this one, the type I did here in Canva and the pictures, I did all of that over in Photoshop Elements. Let's go over to Photoshop Elements and take a look at this artwork over there. And that's right here, separate images. And then each one of these little paw prints is a separate image. All I did for the paw prints, you can see right there, that's a separate image. I just use that color. And then I went over here to shapes and I used the paw print shape. And I just made a bunch of copies of that. And I left spaces open in here for text. So real easy to do. These images up in here, these things, I made these over in an AI program. Let me show you that. And I did that stuff here in Leonardo AI. I made a whole bunch of these because of course that's the way AI works. You can just keep on trying things to take on one that you like. Something's kind of weird, like the eyes are just odd on this one. Sometimes they don't work at all, sometimes they're great. I use this one as one of those images in that template. If you scroll down a bit here, you can see I just did a lot of these things. Again, odd things sometimes, that's kind of funny. I kind of like that one, but really strange things, sometimes really, really nice. And then I took those images, brought them over into Photoshop Elements, cleaned the background out. I went in and I fixed the outline for those, and then just brought them in here, right there, just as separate images. Now, when I took this over into Canva, Canva likes working with different kinds of images, but they especially like working with PNG files. So I just took this and saved it as a PNG file, and then I can open that up over in Canva. So pretty easy to do. Now, the real benefits in here with Photoshop Elements over Canva is that you have full control for doing all this kind of really neat graphic stuff, and you have all of your image editing controls, all of your color controls, your balancing controls, your levels controls, all that stuff, your sharpness controls. So you can do really great image editing in here, save that as a finished PNG file, and then take it over into Canva and do what Canva is good at doing, and then you can share from Canva. So using the two programs together, and again, you can use Canva for free. Most of the program, there's tons of stuff there you can do for free. I did everything on that one template I showed you there for free, no cost to that, including making that link and having that link hosted on Canva. Let's go back over there again. Here we go. Now this, you can just click into any of these lines in here. I can change my font. The font color is right here. Here's your bold. Uppercase, it has an effect on it. That's that overlapping thing in there. I can even animate this if I wanted to. Text size right here. All the different fonts are included over here. Loads and loads of fonts. It just gets bigger and bigger, huge list of fonts that are available in here. Some things that have a little crown on it, those things you can only get if you have a subscription, but notice how much in here doesn't have any subscription to it. So just loads and loads of content for free. They also have elements in here, graphics, they have design in here, different templates you can work from. You can come in here and actually do some drawing, uploads, and so forth. Here's where you can upload from your computer. And here's where I uploaded that image right there. And it's just clicking on Upload Files and then find your image on your computer and upload that. Comes in as a background in here to work with. So real easy. Again, if you want to save this out or share it, that's up here under the Share button. And again, I'll put that link in the description. If you want to download this for your own use, there is a way to do that to get the most out of it. Now, uploading, of course, I like using PNG. If I do it in Photoshop Elements, save it as PNG, upload as PNG into Canva. To download, my choice is a bit different. They suggest a PNG. Now, the problem with PNG is that everything is on one image. It's on one layer. But if you come down here and use PDF for print, you can actually separate out anything you did inside of Canva from anything that you uploaded. Let me show you that. I'll click on PDF print. You can include crop marks, bleed marks. Don't do flatten. Include notes if there are notes and then just download 
and choose Save. It's a PDF file. And that's done. Let's now go back over to Photoshop Elements. Right here, I'll close this down. Don't need that. Go to File and Open. There's a PDF that we just downloaded, Dash 2. Choose Open here. Now in here you have two options, Pages and Images. If you watch the thumbnail right here, let me just make our thumbnail larger. There you go, big thumbnail. Pages shows the whole thing. It's all flattened onto one layer. Images only shows you the images that you used and not any text or anything else you did over in Canva. So here's with the Canva stuff and images is without the Canva stuff, which means I can bring this back out again. Of course, I don't have to do that here. I already have this inside Photoshop Elements, which is why I like using the PDF print option. Let's open this up here as pages first. There you go. Comes in as one layer with everything as a PDF file. I can then save this out or do whatever I want to with that one. Or let's go back over to file, do the exact same thing, open, back to that same PDF. Here we go. Do it as images this time and OK. And here it comes. This time it's without all this stuff from Canva. It's just that background image. So you have some flexibility on what you're going to be actually using if you download it as a print PDF. And again, what I like about Photoshop Elements, of course, is all of the adjustment options we have here, all the color options, everything in here, all the different lighting options. So you can really come in, maybe you do some adjustment layers and really control exactly how your image looks in here. Do all your fancy image editing, especially if you're working with photographs, get all that just exactly perfect. Save it out as a PNG. Go back over to Canva and Uploads. And right here, go ahead and Upload. Notice you also can do images, videos, and audio. So you can do a lot more here, not just the still image stuff. You actually can do some video and audio stuff as well. So there you go. In my opinion, using Canva with Photoshop Elements is a great combination. Of course, you can do the exact same idea with Canva and Affinity Photo. It's just you use a good image editor to do your images in and then use Canva to do stuff like putting on some fast text in here. But more importantly, this is the easiest way to come in and share anything that you've created in here. Now, if you want to learn a lot more about how to use Photoshop Elements, I have a complete course for that. I'll put a link for that in the description. Or just go to my website, howtogurus.com. It's all right there. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe. I'm doing new videos all the time. So if you subscribe and hit that bell icon, you'll get notifications and you won't miss any videos. And I'll see you next time.